Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Pro Division with the tournament win for the St. Patrick's Day tournament here in Golf Clash the game. In this video you will see shots from our guide, the ultimate tournament guide for Pro created by Radu. So make sure to go over to Radu's YouTube channel and subscribe and support his work. The shots that you will see are excellent and there is plenty of drops for you to use and improve your tournament game. If you are interested in getting the best guides on the market for Pro or for Expert or for Master you go directly to patreon.com slash golf clash tom and you do have the link directly in the description down below info box on the right hand side to follow along in this playthrough with the club selection ball selection also what ball and uh, also what, what elevation and club distance i'm choosing to play with have in mind that all those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to but there's always a plan behind it so let's go to hole number one On the drive, we are with extra mile level 9, starting at the plus 13 yard mark, at the top of plus 13 yard mark. And this is a drive that is catering to extra mile level 6 plus. Extra mile level 6 and 7 start at max, extra mile level 8 start at plus 14. Two left spin, three and a half bar top spin. Adjustment is max plus 10 P3. And here I would say that hitting on great left is going to be way better than hitting a great right those of you that do have uh, a king maker to use side spin three would definitely be helpful to just put ourselves away from the right side a little bit more and especially playing with less accurate clubs great greats will be obviously more affected so 50, 358 yards and that's something we're going to have to remember for the second shot Second shot, we're going to play our Grizzly, and here we're going to play purely based on drive yardage. 358 yards is 21% slider, plus 5% elevation, P3 numbers. Half a bar of top spin, one left spin. Now we're looking for ha to having the inner ring just by the rough line ball guideline to go over the left side of the cup just by the edge of it. And here we are going to uh, do our pull, and I would recommend to not do any 12 of 1 here. Try to favor 1159 if anything. The good part with that shot like this is that even though we're aiming close to the rough, we are adjusting from a higher to a lower point, and therefore we will, in that case, lose distance. So the ball here will not be in any risk of flying too long, even though it looks scary. See how far back we are bouncing compared to where we are aiming so nice simple eagle to start with on hole number one hole number two we are using the red ring uh, to the left by the rough line in complete minimum distance with a p3 ball i would strongly recommend to use the grizzly as a long iron to easier find the min line uh, after that here in this video i'm using 2.6 backspin and the littlest amount of left spin here 0 0.1 left spin very hard to see on the video but just the tiny tiniest amount here um, for me 5.1 rings is adjusted it's min plus 20 p3 and here regardless what sniper level you're having you shall always use sniper 10 numbers in your application Perfect ball, bounces on the fairway up towards the green and we're getting ourselves a nice hole in one on a tough par three, which is hole number two. So on the drive here, we start with the quarterback and quarterback level 9 and level 10 starts at plus 11. Quarterback level 7 and level 8 start at max. Once we have found that position with the white ring by the rough line, we're going to switch then to extra mile uh, and the big dog bag or whatever. If you have the cataclysm or the horizon, yeah, you choose what you want to uh, what you want to change to. So four and a half bar top spin, three right spin, half a ball of curl right. max plus 10 p3 is the adjustment we're getting over to the fairway safely nicely and now we can just uh, play a very nice and safe shot for uh, now on the second shot you can play with katana as well if you would like however though you will need to have in mind that then the overpower might be 
a bit hefty on the second shot. So for the second shot here with Big Dog or with Horizon or with the Cataclysm, depending on what 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 club you have in the highest level of those three. 6.4 top spin is what we're looking for and all the left spin. So all the left spin and 6.4 top spin. Now look at the second bounce. That's what I'm focusing on. We are gonna be approximately one, one and a half ring above the bunker and we are going to be focusing to be more right of the pin. This is not going to be a shot that we're gonna drop. Um, sure, we can maybe get a lucky one, but in the end, we're looking to play this way in this headwind to give ourselves a safe eagle, which we're getting every time. You can hit great left, great right on the second shot, and it's still going to be safely on the green. And now we do have a pot for an eagle. What, uh, what you need to know as well as a little extra is that you are going to have to add the overpower you adjust into. So if you adjust one ring into overpower, use one ring of overpower. On hole number four, we do have a conservative approach, we do have an aggressive approach, and here in this playthrough, I will show you the more aggressive approach, which is the absolute best chance to consistently get an hole in one. I want to add that I've been hit single great right, and I've been hitting perfect, and both of them clips the rough. I haven't hit any great left yet, which is going to have to be added then towards that, okay, if we do hit great left, we might miss the rough and go into the sand. So have that in mind, it is an aggressive approach. Half a bar topspin, let the ball guideline go through the hole, but on the left side of the pin. Adjustment here is going to be one to one plus 0 0.5, which is max plus a 10 P1 numbers using sniper 10 in the app. So Sniper 10 in the app, regardless if you're having a Sniper 7 or Sniper 8 or something like that. Drops nicely for a hole in one. This is a very good chance. On the drive, we start by adding spins, which is four and a half bar top spin and two right spins. So this is a shot that is adapted to extra mile level six plus, and also obviously for Thor's hammer, for Apocalypse in a lower level and stuff like that. So even if I do have extra mile level nine, that should not be your focus point. So focus on the attributes that you actually can replicate this in a very good way. So we stretch out to find more importantly the second bounce to be into the water pointing towards the edge of the fairway pad there on top. After that, if we do have a club that is going to be extra mile eight or nine, then we are backing up. So extra mile back, extra mile nine backs up to plus 27, extra mile eight backs up to plus 28, extra mile six and seven continues at max. Max plus 10 P5, max overpower with a slightly slower needle. And you do want to attempt to hit perfect, not great. But the goal here is to bounce into the rough like that and roll out. I think this is a very smart way of with less topspin to actually get ourselves a very nice and decent chance for an eagle on this hole. But now we do have the wedge still to be done. You need to play with a power fireball. I would recommend to stick with the berserker ball because we do need the wind push. Playing with a P fireball with less with more wind resistance might not push you enough, and then then you might flirt with the water. On the second shot, I would strongly recommend to use as much topspin that you can. This to minimize the flight time, uh, but you don't have to do a max topspin play here, especially if you do have uh, a lesser ball guideline than the Endbringer 7. Now I understand that the Endbringer 7 is definitely a superior club um, it, to have in pro, but it's more to display um, what can be done here. So either you go with topspin, uh, or you go for a um, regular EB school, which is going to be a no spin EB school plus 20% P3 numbers, not P5. Have that in mind, even though we're playing with a P5 ball. So this is a fairly simple um, wedge, in my opinion, which should be giving us a very easy time to get ourselves uh, to the goal, which is to get an eagle.
So for hole number six, the drive, we're gonna play, um, we want to play with a big topper. I want to have said though, that if you do have a club such as the Thor Sama level six or better, Apocalypse level six or better, I would prefer going with that club instead. That's the same with going with extra mile level nine. And the reason for uh, for that is that it still has a lot of top spin. And obviously with the Thor Sammer and with the extra mile and the Apocalypse, we do have more power as well. So the only reason we're using the big topper here is due to its top spin. I would be careful by hitting bad great balls here. There is a risk of clipping the rough, which obviously is not what we want to do. But with a perfect ball, this ball will carry down very nicely on the fairway on the right hand side. And hole number six of Drummer Links has always been a part five and a hole that uh, the drive is super tough compared to the second shot because the second shot we can decide to play in different ways depending on how aggressive we want to go so on the second shot here i go to max club and once i've found that i pull back 12 rings right i pull back 12 rings and that position is then going to equal 70 percent slider no elevation p3 numbers After that, I'm applying spin. The goal here is to get the tip of the ball guideline to fall down one green square below the pin. So you can see here that I'm going to uh, have to use more backspin here. And in the end, I panic a little bit and add a little bit of right spin. You can see that I'm still being too high in my position and the right spin is not helping there either. So here I should have just gone with more backspin and removed the right spin. So adjustment is done. I will be hitting perfect, but as I'm not positioned correctly, I'm going to miss high. So you can see here that I'm bouncing into the rough, rolling down. And if I would be adjust uh, positioned correctly, it would have been much better. What has to be said, though, that if you're not interested in going aggressive, use all the backspin that you do have on your club, land it on green and just uh, ignore the albatross and uh, go for the safe eagle. Hole number seven is a very good chance with the rough bump here. And even though it looks scary, it isn't as scary as it looks. So we're going to start by adding one right spin. And then we shall be using the bottom of the inner ring to be just by the edge of the sand trap line, ball guide line through the hole. And then we will apply minimum distance with a 5% over adjustment P1 numbers, power one ball settings. Adjustment is done. Then we shall center the ball and hit perfect. The only risk that I would say here that you can have is if you do go with a hefty underpower. Because underpower here will obviously let you lose distance and that's going to be a problem. Bouncing nicely into the center of the rough and it rolls uh, up towards the pin and dropping nicely for a hole in one here on hole number seven. Hole number eight uh, here, you can play with extra mile level six plus or whatever drive it gives you 4.5 bars of top spin. Here we do strongly advise you to play with a power five ball just to make sure that we can play with a slower needle. We're gonna start at the top of plus 27 here and uh, we're gonna use four and a half bar top spin, no side spin. Adjustment from here is gonna be max plus 10 P5. And after that adjustment has been done, we shall not be pushing up anything. We shall not pulling back anything. We shall just stay where we are. Max overpower with a slower needle. And then we're going to try to hit perfect. The goal here is not to get to green because we don't have the top spin enough to do so with the four and a half bars. But what we are looking for is to bounce there and then to bounce and then to clip the rough, which I just are not doing. So I'm actually very, very unlucky to roll into the rough. However, though, from here, it's a more or less dead straight rough iron towards the pin. So the opportunity for an eagle is still massive from there. But in the best of the worlds, we clip the rough with the second bounce or we don't clip the rough with the second bounce, but we don't get that glitch roll. So in the end, hole number eight with this drive, Max OP, slower needle, gives us a very good chance for a drop.
On the drive here, you don't have to play with a Berserker Ball if you don't want to, but I strongly advise you to do so, because otherwise you're going to have to go with a lot of overpower. Obviously, any other P5 ball is sufficient if it just has win 1, win 2, win 3, or, or obviously better. Start at the top of plus 19 with extra my 9, top of plus 20 with extra my level 8, and then top of plus 22 with extra my level 6 and 7. 4 backspin, 2 right spin, and half a ball of curl to the right. If you do adjust into overpower, which is very likely if you do play with an extra mile 6 or 7, then use whatever overpower you adjust into uh, as overpower for your drive. Simple drive to get it up there. Again, you don't have to play with a power fireball if you don't want to, but you're going to get yourself into a problem when it comes to overpower if having to play with a power 2 or a power 3 ball. Second shot we do play for an eagle, so what we want to do is to use the, the driver that gives us the most power at the spins, which is 5 top spin and 2 right spin. Then we're stretching out to see the yellow ring to be just above the rough line, and then we are counting the rings that is down towards the uh, non-overpower line, which in this case is approximately 3.5 rings. Adjustment is max no elevation P5 numbers. And once we have done that, we're pushing up the rings that we were short of our landing spot. And then you can see that I'm going into overpower again. So after pushing up and then I'm adding, um, adding the overpower that I did push into and hit perfect. Here I'm fortunately adding an extra ring here. That's the reason why I'm going so long. However, though, I'm not expecting this one to drop a, a single time for an albatross. But I'm expecting myself to be either on the green for a nice pot or to be on the fringe for a short wedge to lock in the eagle. Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for Pro Division with the tournament win for the St. Patrick's Day tournament here in Golf Clash the game. Make sure that you go and subscribe to Radus S channel, the shot creator of all the shots here that you have seen here in this video. That would make me very happy. You can get the ultimate tournament guys for pro or for expert or for master by going to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. You do have the link directly in the description down below. Thank you once again for watching and good luck in your Golf Clash game.